Hi everyone, this is Elisa. Welcome to Dora's first and ever 3D website challenge. A lot of you guys have seen this amazing website that Minfan created with Dora, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a website just like this for the challenge in just five steps. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna prepare a model and then replace that into Dora along with other elements. Then we're gonna adjust some keyframes and then finally publish your site. Before we start, remember to get this demo project's copy link and then duplicate this project to make it your own project. We recommend that you use Sketchfab to get a 3D model. Remember to check downloadable and preferably also animated when you scroll through the models. I really like this Sketchfab's official 5 million member celebration model, so I'm gonna download this from here. We recommend that you get a GLB file format that's under 20 megabytes. So let me just download this real quick. Next, let's go back to our project and then open this 3D widget dropdown and then find WASP GLB and then hit delete. Next, go to import a 3D model and then let's upload our new model inside. Let's wait for it to upload and you may not see your model right away since each model has a different built-in default camera. So once it's uploaded, go to your GLB file layer and then press shift 2 to auto adjust its position. And if you still can't see it, go to default camera and then change its values on the right panel. And you can also just drag your model inside the viewer like this. Click on the gray area of the canvas and then let's change our background color into a color we want. And don't forget the other colored elements inside the page. You can direct select by pressing command and then click and then just change their colors as well. Now let's replace the text. We can direct select by pressing command and then click, change it into a text we want and then change its font and size as well as position and its color. Similarly for the other elements on the page. If it's hard for you to select the element, you can lock the 3D widget first and then proceed. I want to mention that if an element is animated and you can see its keyframes on the keyframe panel, you need to make sure to change its value for its every keyframe. And now we can replace this image. Go to assets and then upload the image. I want to upload this cute cloud inside let me just adjust its size and position real quick. And then you can also direct select the gradient in the background and then change its color as well. Next, open the keyframe panel and start animating our camera. Click on this keyframe for 100 VH and then go to the viewport and drag the camera into an angle you want. Repeat the same process for each keyframe and then you can also change values on the right panel. And now we can go to our GLB file and then open the animations that come with the 3D model. Before you publish, go to site settings and then change the website title as well as the website description. And don't forget to save them. You can also upload icon or social image and change the page title and URL. Now we're ready to publish. Go to publish and then edit subdomain into a name that you want, save it, and then just go to this button, click on it to publish your site. And yay, this is my final website. I'm really looking forward to seeing your work in the challenge.